Well, the next time you drive or walk through Kaka'ako, just take a look around and you'll notice several new beautiful murals. A hundred local and international artists teamed up for a week-long beautification project in the historic neighborhood. KITV 4's Cam Tran shows us the amazing finishing touches. With a can of spray paint, well, make that several cans of spray paint, graffiti artists turn Kaka'ako eyesores and dilapidated walls into these elaborate pieces of art. I'm usually at a loss for words. It's just so beautiful. To me, it's, it's, a, it's a really simple way to beautify a building. Artists are a part of Pow Wow Hawaii, a nonprofit group with a mission to spread the love of art across the islands. With landowners' permission, 100 painters from around the world and Hawaii will paint 35 different murals throughout Kaka'ako this week. We give our artists creative control and artistic freedom. We do it because we love it, you know. All, all, of the, uh, the, all of the people involved in organizing the event are artists themselves and are just really passionate about um, building a community, building friendships from all over the world. These murals can take up to several days to create and can cost upwards of tens of thousands of dollars, but these artists do it all for free. Because we're nuts. <laughs> Uh, we paint. I mean, that's what we do. So. Local artist Astria Miyashiro helped paint this majestic mural next to Fresh Cafe. He says coming up with the idea for this piece wasn't easy. We meditate in ground and we seek guidance before we paint. Um, and it's very much about, you know, telling stories of people and place. The story we're getting is of Keao Mele Mele. She's the goddess of Oahu. And these artists spend relentless hours on scaffolding to bring their story and paint this neighborhood back to life. Reporting from Kaka'ako, Cam Tran, KITV4 News. You know, Hadar says these murals actually deter vandalism and tagging. That's great. And the local artist says that since they started the project three years ago, very few of the mur murals they've painted have been vandalized. Some have really neat stories behind them, too, so it's pretty neat.